Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome back to a blind let's play of Dragon Age Inquisition. And we are going to kick off the Winter Palace this episode 100%. I am going to check codexes real quick just to clear this off. Uh, we get the Philanderis. The name Philanderis is Alvin, meaning demon weed, which is fitting for this rare plant because it grows only in places where the veil is thin. Philanderis is easily identified. It's a twisted, wicked looking shrub with long thorny shoots and no leaves, a skeletal hand reaching out from an unmarked grave. Many swear the plant radiates a palpable aura of malevolence, so it comes as no surprise that it unnerves many a junior herbalist. Um, and the image is always the same. Okay, and we're going to go and clear our packs. Legit, let, let's get them. Let's get these packs empty as well before we head out, just in case. And then, uh, I don't think I'll be, this won't kill like the hour and a half, or whatever I needed for the Josephine table quest to happen. But just in case, uh, so I'll cut around a massive chunk, even though I just started this episode. That's great. Awesome. I'm going to give Cassandra the Dirthamon shield. It's one extra armor rating, but it's it's got a couple extra uh, uh, decent things. She'll lose her strength, but she'll get constitution. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. So there you go. I'll get rid of this seeker shield right here. Uh, and then in terms of weapons, I got, uh, I removed, uh, that's not what I wanted. I removed the great, the, uh, uh, the extra stuff off the great sword. I can't put it on the great axe, but if this ever gets replaced, then I've already pulled the stuff off of the render's blade. Um, and I can sell the render's blade. So that's done. Um, and everything else is, I'm almost done selling everything. Um, I had to talk to her, didn't I, Dagna? Thank you for your investment in my investigations, Inquisitor. Yep. I've learned something, I think. I don't know. What have you learned? Did you find out about the Fade? I got a scraping that was cleaned off you, and it's weird. And the other rift bits, they're weird. It's just weird. I said weird, right? <laughs> Answers, Dagna. Help me. Miriam and the Fade, late. But dwarves and tranquil? Not late. But they work lyrium, so they are. Somehow. And there's something there. Right. Face deep in a rune, and for a moment, I was tall. Really. <gasps> and I thought. I thought all the thoughts. I'm fairly certain I have not said the one thing that I, when I always say, there's something I could say, but I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> It was that right. Oh my god. Hold on. I'll tell you exactly why. I should tell you now before she tells me. So you don't think I'm crazy. Wait for this theory. This speculate. Okay, I'm going to give it right now before I hear anything else. Here's what I've been thinking about the dwarves. Uh, I've said a lot about... Well, no, I haven't said everything. But, okay. Here's the question that's always gone through my mind, right? When you think about the aesthetics of the dwarves, when you think about... Um, when you go to the deep roads, when you go into Orzammar, um, when we were on the the coast, right? And <laughs> here's what I was th like: Why are all of their statues huge, right? Why are they all big? So why is Orzammar so big? I've been thinking about the whole size of their statues. Like, why are dwarven statues so big? Now here's there's a, a piece of lore with dwarves where I, I can't remember the, the I can't remember the lore of the um, the legend. So there was the, these dwarves that could grow into giants or giants that could turn into dwarves. But I think it was dwarves that could go into giants. And so I started thinking like maybe there's like it's tied into that dwarven lore. Um, and I know this is like actually legitimate folklore is that dwarves could turn into giants. And it was weird because um, it was Germanic. Anyways. Um, so in my head, I was like, maybe Dragon Age is like tapping into that, that original lore of the dwarves is that maybe they were these big things. They were giants. And then we have the, the giants in this world. The, the trolls are, are they called trolls here? Oh my God. Did I forget the, the, the thing with one eyes, man. I'm like, are those like deformed versions of something that maybe over the thousands of years, like that happened? Um, but maybe that's tied to some original thing that was maybe there was like a proto dwarf, you know. Um, and because there's these gaps in history, uh, and, and the one that was I was missing is like, well, how did the shape? That's why I kept bringing up like the shaper thing is like, what's that hole there? Okay, well I'm watching, I'm watching Angel Arts's uh, Dragon Age Two now. I've gone through Awakening. I've gone through which. Um, 
Witch Hunt, all of Origins. Uh, so I'm learning. Uh, I'm re. I'm reminding myself of the lore as it's appearing in the game. Uh, in the comments, uh, someone said brought up a good point about the shape writ, and then as soon as that point was made, is when I hit that point in. I think it's in Witch Hunt because you go to the whole shale area. It's when you go through the what's her last name. Anyways, and then it talks about. The, like the that the elves and the dwarves work together, uh, but then the Definter Imperium when they were coming uh, at the like basically the elves are kind of hiding in the deep rows and stuff, and they were working alongside the dwarves, and the dwarves basically betray the elves, and they bury that city or they cover they block the city because the dwarves don't want any problem with the Definters or something like that. So that happened like ages before, like pre Arlathan. If I it can't be pre Arlathan, it would have been post Arlathan because Definter was involved. Point being, so even before that though, hold on, let me, oh my god, I'm forgetting the, uh, <coughs> because there was the magic, my my brain was like, but there was magic, hold on, what's up, what the shape it, where was I going with this, oh, the thing mentioned in the comments, which, um, and then it was mentioned in that episode, is how the shape it basically rewrites history, so they remove things, they, uh, it's just like they don't add certain things. So at some point, they they um, they corrupt their own history, even though they're collecting the history and the fact that they're called memories and all that stuff. I thought that that was that's way too close to what the fate is all about. So I think this all something is intertwining pre Arlathan. Um, and in in my head, I'm like, I think the I think the dwarves are giants. That's what I'm thinking, um, and that's why everything is built big. So things that they're like. These statues existed. They're, they're oh, they're super old, and they all go really back. It's because I think they were built by bigger people. They were built by bigger people. That's why their doors are big. That's why like the Colosseum is all big. Everything is big. So, uh, so I love that it was said right here. <laughs> but it like really hit me. It was it was Storm Coast for me. Is as soon as I saw it there, I was like, okay, this is outside. This isn't underground. These aren't Paragon statues underground. These aren't. These are now massive. These statues are even bigger outside. And then I was like, why would they be outside though? Because dwarves don't go to the surface. So are, is this the, the, some merchant outcast class that decided that, hey, I'm just going to go to the surface and build massive statues of dwarvish figures that are 50, 60 feet tall? No, I think they're so old they, they were built by larger creatures. That's what I'm sticking to. Let's see what Agnes found out. You I guess it's being taller. explicit right here. How much taller? Like mountains. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. Yes, Dagna. But I was moving. And I felt dizzy. You know what I remembered? Watching a shaper it carve the wall of memory. Except big. Isn't that weird? Maybe there were fumes. <laughs> totally weird, Dagna. Fumes. Wait. Maybe there were fumes. <gasps> Why? Why did that? That was triggering what? That was trigger. Why, why was I thinking that was important? Fumes. <laughs> why were fumes important right there? Hold on. Okay, maybe I don't know. What do you mean when you say thought all the thoughts? I don't know. As if for a moment I was around all my people, and my thought was all of theirs. Your thoughts were their thoughts. No, no, my thought was all of our thoughts. Like. Hearts. Like the stone. Words are mush. Maybe that's what the stone feels like. I think it feels like. If we think it feels. Really? I do think it's a lot. That's the what I'm trying to say about the red. <laughs> I think it's the other element of the creation of the world, man. And the doors are in in integral. It's like the red is connected to. And this is the part I was not saying. The red would have been a, 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 a connected to. What the dwarves would have been pre, way pre. I'm talking way pre Arlathan, and I that they were big, and that the red was connected to them, and that they were connected to the stone. Like when they say stuff about the stone and the and the thing is that the no, I think it's because they are composed of the physicality of the creation of the world, just like the elves were would have been composed of the the intangible aspects of the world, like the sky and the and the stone and those are two elements of the creation of the world i think pre, 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 pre. these are the things that i would like do a series on because i'm like if this doesn't get talked about in the game it's it's like it's become clear to me okay 
Dolores seems right to me. I can see it like a like a like a multiplanar like diagram. I see it. I know what I'm thinking. <laughs> what else am I thinking? <laughs> Hold on. Come on. Uh, uh, geez. I was going to say something about the dwarves. Hold on. Hold on. I already talked about all of this. It's all been piecemeal. It's just Dagna's making it very easy for me to now say all this stuff. Um, hold on. Hold on. I know I already said it. It's that they were the, they, they're the physical. The elves are the intangible. Oh, the sky and the, the stone. The sky and the stone. This is the other thing because when the words are important, like when the dwarves say that uh, they're afraid of the sky falling on top of them or I was uh, like them being afraid of the surface i think it's because these memories or i guess they be, they just became things they said but that you know it, it's these ideas that got carried on from generation to generation of dwarves about being afraid of the sky i think it's not the sky i don't think it's the sky as we understand the term of the sky i think the sky to the dwarf pre 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 dwarves the proto dwarves i think the sky was defined very differently it wasn't the sky the sky was the fade the, the sky was whatever it was that was that intangible aspect of reality reality that they weren't that they that they weren't really a part of oh and, and they made a com one of the other comments was um that if you reach the sky you keep on falling was that a comment in origins something like that so then part of me is like does that was that also like it's just it's lost in translation over the the millennia which is if you keep on falling is like is the sky like you keep on because you 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 reach the intangible and then you keep on kind of going the intangible is just infinite or something or like you keep on the fade if you think about the so you kind of get you keep on falling through this in you don't you know what i'm saying <laughs> dagna you understand me dagna so tranquil and dwarves are linked to lyrium and there's another thing with it's tranquil also not linked takes you with it, so you can't be part of it. That makes me sad. I'm not sure why. It what? seems like we should Wait. be part of it. Whatever it you is. You should. You we were. The ones who make it happen. Frustrating answers that aren't answers. Ugh. We did. We talk, I talked about the dwarf and the connection with the, that's why they don't dream and stuff. It's because again, I don't think that their, their, com their composition has nothing to do with connecting with the blue. tranquils but the tranquils can still work with magic yeah but i think that's because so what do i think humans are the, the, the humans came out of nowhere too so i think there's a gap there and the kunari i need more lore for that i mean if i had to like right now guess something with both of them is that they would have been like i just think that the world was only dwarves and elves that's my thing. That's like my thing. It's like I don't think humans existed. I think humans at some point manifested. And maybe that's what they turned, they mean by second born. And the whole maker thing is second born. So the second born. Oh. Yeah. Well. Like a, a mix of both or something with it. Anyways. So they come from the north or wherever the Neraminians Ner come, come from. And then those tribes develop into other things. But. Um, maybe they, they, maybe because of, I don't know. That one, I, I, I don't know. I think that this is like, maybe something happens. Uh, maybe something happens tied to what she's like. She's suggesting there's something. Now she's bringing, because she's bringing up something that we haven't had an explicit. We haven't had it explicitly said. Because we've only gone as far as our laugh, and I'm keeping notes of this. We've only gone as far as our laugh, and we, we kind of understand a little bit before that at this point with a couple hints and codexes and stuff like that and i mean even origins with that the part in witch hunt um that wasn't pre our last one. that was because of Tevinter and the, the doors the elves and Tevinter mashed up no it was because they talked about um what am i thinking of no and even this game because they talked about all of that elven stuff and they talked about the the, the ones that sleep the sleeping elves Uthanara. Oh, and it was a novel, Mass Empire. It's just a lot of information started coming at me uh, very quickly in, J in January, where I started restructuring. So, our, it wouldn't be a, like I. It's not even being explicit when this happened, but in my head, this is pre Arlathan, is what she's taking from those glyphs. We took those glyphs from. We scraped it off something, huh? 
And then we brought it back to her to investigate. So that would mean that. <laughs> oh man, I gotta work out the timeline. I gotta like keep whoop. investigating and let me know what you find. I tried to make it happen again, but it wouldn't. And I had a headache. And Coco and a lie down. I'll keep at it. It's weird. Oh, we gotta learn more. And I made a rune. It's weird too. Be careful with it. Oh. Where did you make this rune? Where is said rune? Is this something in here? There isn't. This would have an exclamation mark in. I don't know, but I it's probably in my I don't know. Well that got I did not anticipate derailing before Winter Palace, but that happened. That happened. Now you know. Don't always have to bow, Joe. Alright, we've emptied the packs, and again for some reason I've got four in there, but I think it's because that's the stuff I need to take to the table. So I'm gonna go to the table real quick. I'm gonna drop that off and then we're gonna do the winter palace oh my god another episode because of that rant oh 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 the mural oh right here what the hell there's a lot of burning people in this one or something what's happening that dude's burning right there i think i can't really tell man what is this thing a dragon what is this a hand <laughs> i can't i can't even I can't even tell what it is. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, with the two missing. Neat. What was I doing? Right. Not being up here. Wrong place. All right, now, in theory, four things would leave us for this table. There we go. Revenant Helms. What else? You're not done. There's no way. Oh, I got some influence up something right there. That's fine. For real? One thing? Revenant Helms? That's it? You know where I haven't gone? There it is. There it is. That's not where I wanted to go. Whoa! A lot more things than I thought. Whoa! How long haven't I gone there? Holy smokes. I I, I didn't go to the one place where I was. Where, where was my library thing? You know what I'm talking about. What the hell? Okay, I, mean, I, I don't know. Okay, so... Got a bunch of uh, extra. Oh, do you have something to tell me about that mural? Do you want to talk to me about it? Stone Mad Inquisitor. Do you have insight into the yeah. stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Here you go, Inquisitor. Yeah. I wrote up some thoughts. Hope it adds to the effort. Man. Okay. So we got we got some codexes now to to figure out. So, oh, do I want to kick off the thing or read some codexes? Because uh, I'm gonna look at the codexes. So we have the arcing horror. That's just the uh, research increase. Black wolf. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's also research increase. Uh, what else? We got a lot of them, man. So, the revenant. Uh, corpse resist with demon prior to desire. Yep. So that's the increase right there. Looks like that's it. We have history. Right here. We have the Mason's Tales, the fall. Now here's a happy study, the fall and a face that says, why did you, tr why did we try to go where there were no stairs? Because you go into an impossible building like that, you're coming out on fire and then it will flip or something. I still do not see the appeal of dreams. So your seven magisters entered and they came out blighted and not sure which way was up. They did look they were they were burning. It looked like people were like, okay, I get it. That was a magister thing. I'll pass that off to the sculptor trying to represent the madness. I mean towers here, appended over there. You know what kind of force it would take to flip that much stone? I do more than it do more than burn your beard. Now, if you're in the fade, it's just things can be whatever direction they want. There's no up and down. Here's something interesting, though. You've got a hint of pigment and leaf causing some sheen, but there's meant to be more. All of these were painted and repainted at some point to match whatever Lord's three holder. Okay. Three older. I don't know what that means, but there's a type of finishing that you can do a very fine and time consuming pass that evens the surface. Do it right. You can get stone as smooth as glass and that tower and Beardy's skull are meant to have it. And only a little is present on the others and Beardy's skull. Hmm. 
So the first time this carving was wheeled out, it would have looked like Beardy was the target. So maybe he was first in the door and the light, it burns him and spreads to the others. And the polish or leaf would have caught light like a mirror and caused the viewer to squint. They'd have to look down or away, joining the magisters in their punishment. Key joining, you want to use that word right now? Make them feel part of it. These can't be accidents. And if they are accidents, they're sloppy. <laughs> Should be using words that are, are means other things in your lore, you know, unless they actually do mean this. They're connected in the lore. Uh, that's what I figure anyways. And it would sure keep the children out of the feast hall. All right. God dang it. That's a lot done. Should we do it? Go back into the war room. Let's do it. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, oh right. The 12 minuteers. Dang it. Get back in there, Liliana. So we have find us. Oh, this finished? What? I thought this was an hour and something. I haven't been at this for an hour. Find a sponsor for Du Parquet. Letters to Countess Dion. My dearest Lynette. I was injured on the way back from the conclave when the insane, when, when this insane war erupted between the apostates and Templars. I made it to a decrepit inn just before the gash on my leg turned into a fever. Fortunately, when the Inquisition's people found me, they sent for a proper healer. I owe them my life, I'm certain. I've told the Inquisition, well, deliver this letter to you, which is the first place, the, the first peace of mind I've had since the conclave. Stay in the capital, my love, until I can come to you. Sincerely yours, Ellerly. Okay, so we got the a letter. Oh. What the hell did that achieve? Find a sponsor. Completed. Oh. So, so it's done? Mm. Well, Let's see what we have. I don't think I need you for to kick this thing off here. So let's look at this. The assassin stalking the Empress. Selene's death would plunge Orlais into chaos, leaving it an easy target for Corypheus. At the Winter Palace, at Helm Shiral. Oh, that's right. It's in Helm Shiral, huh? Yeah, I'm taking... I gotta take it now. I gotta take... Sarah? Oh, fuck, man. I wanna take Solace. Damn it. What if I need a warrior, man? I think it needs to be Vivian, Solace, Sarah. Hmm. I'm going to regret it. I'm going to have to bash something. Selene is holding peace talks with her rebellious cousin, Grand Duke Espard, under the guise of a grand ball. Every noble in the Empire will attend, making it the perfect place and time for Griffith's assassins to strike. Uh-oh. No, this is going to be fighting. I need a warrior. We can arrange an invitation to attend to keep him from destroying Orlais if we hurry. Let's just see what happens. Let's let's see what happens. We have to reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess, yeah, Anna, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Celine will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. Of course. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Mm -hmm. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been emperor. He's Selene's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Selene outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a chevalier. Most of their numbers sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Uh, that's true. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. 
she has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the That's peace talks going, in a huh? bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Selene's. Hmm. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command. <sighs> Promising lead. <sighs> Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Oh, oh my God, that is some stupid. Tell me everything we know stuff. about the Empress. Empress Celine is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspar, who's made few friends on the Council of Herods. Celine is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide bit. Than the Empress's own household. <clears throat> How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Oh, snap. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just want any of this. Danger. We've made the attempt, the but it seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlay falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. <laughs> we shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. Let's do it. Booyah! So, wicked eyes and wicked hearts. An assassin is stalking the Empress. We've already read this. I'm sure it's the same. Yes, it is. Confirm. Tons of points. Tons of points. Okay, maybe we do, oh, I don't know, Varric would be good too, uh, even Doran would be good, if I'm going to a ball, that'd be cool. Varric, 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 do I go with Varric? Cole, do I go with Cole? Why would Cole matter? Why would he care? Why would he matter? I'm Sheral. Oh man, I know. I need. I need. I need solace there. Uh, it's a meta. It's the meta in me is saying that. <laughs> I feel like if anyone's gonna say something about something that if hell I'm Sheral's involved, like stuff with the elves and the whole history aspect of things with the Dales and stuff. And how that novel ends. Oh, I feel like if anything's gonna get revealed, any anything extra is gonna get revealed. Solace is gonna do it. Like Solomon has to consider the angle of like who's the better, who are the better talkers. Like Sarah's probably a really bad idea now that I've, <laughs> I've gone in circles with this. I have gone in circles with this. Like Solomon needs to think about like if someone has to talk for him, someone has to talk their way through some noble gamey bullcrap, some politics stuff. Who are the best people to like have those exchanges? Well Vivian if it comes to nobles. I would say Solace if it comes with to elves. So then I'm locked in with two mate with three mages and I'm gonna get screwed if I have to bash something. <sighs> And then Sarah is like, I feel like that's probably going to cut. There's going to, they would have like, again, it's meta. I mean, we'll solemnly bring Sarah to a noble thing where she might act like she might compromise the Inquisition because she'll kill someone. Varric, because of storytelling and he's good, he's just good with words. Like, solemnly would trust Varric to talk his way pragmatically through something. I can go in and just not... No, no, I can't. I'm not going to risk it. I've done it on other maps where I don't take one of each class and I regret it. I regret it every time. 
I can always reload if there's like something that feels super elfy. Like if we end that we are, we are in Halam Shirel. Oh, crap. Like what if I can have an exchange? Like oh damn. And my dog is snoring so loud right now. It's distracting the absolute hell out of me. <laughs> I don't think Black Wall's the one. It's gonna be Cassandra. Because if things go south, Somali would trust her to be the best composed of the warriors to be able to, like, not. She's a seeker. So, I mean, she has some, you know what I mean? Whereas, like, they'll just freak out with an iron bull around. <sighs> he's pretty graceful. He's he's not a chevalier, but he's, like, he's pretty honorable. He might be able to pull off. He might be able to pull off respect. Like, he'll be respectful. This lineup. Instead of cold. Yes. <laughs> it is the almost every well except for Vivian. <laughs> no one I thought I had I, I looked in the comments to see like if someone suggested something I didn't remember. I was so I did a, a filter search. I couldn't find anything. So I might have lost like a suggestion or something. I don't know. The only one that makes sense to me is Vivienne. So here we go. The political what? situation oh, in Halam cool. Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could oh, sever it. That's awesome. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests. So our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies so or masks. upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity. If not a clear advantage. Oh, nice, Inquisitor Trevelyan. It is an honor to meet you at last. The rumors coming out of the Western approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orle. Thanks, Lillian. I had a political talker, so. I have to. Which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. <laughs> you say that more awkwardly, but. Probably by the brandy. <laughs> I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord. They will be telling stories of this into the next age. Ah. Uh, no. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. I knew we would get along famously, Inquisitor. Oh, I thought I was being a As a friend, okay. uh, perhaps there is a matter you could that works for this, guy. this evening. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. No. What if, like, the stuff with... What if what if Biala has like agents inside the Inquisition, man? And that's what that sketchy stuff has been like. I think it has been elves though, man. That's why I've like I've got this faint memory of like every time I've heard it, it's been like elven. It's been scouts. What if she was playing like she's been playing? No. I would have guessed maybe they would have been like because of the end of this book. Is like then I start to like it got reinforced that maybe they were agents of the wolf or something, and I was like, oh, what if there's like that? But that made Briala would make sense too. She's got an underground, a whole underground of. Hmm. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as. Oh, possible. you guys told me there's like a timer or something. I detest the game but if we do not play it well I, our enemies will make us look like villains 
We're keeping that. the court waiting, Inquisitor. I don't know when it starts, and I don't know what's going on, but you guys warned me about saving before I do anything, because... The mage? No, there must be some mistake. From oh. The of ah! Hardwick, so they say. So it's this. Court approval. With few exceptions, nobles and mages don't mix. The court eyes you with suspicion. Oh, because I'm a mage. Oh, so I already got screwed right on entry. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm going to save it now. There it is. Thank you. Oh, where's my crew? Noble woman. Somli? Somli, you talked to Josephine enough. Use your head, buddy. You haven't seen a ring lying around, have you? It was a gift from the Countess Montbelliard, enchanted by the Fomari. I cannot go into the, the ball without it. In the book or? Is this ring particularly valuable? Its worth in coin is not as important as its social value. It was a gift from a member of the Council of Heralds. If she finds out I lost it, she will never forgive me. Not even if I live to be a thousand years old. What's your game? Are you trying to convince the Comtesse that you treasure her gift? Or just gain importance by getting the Inquisitor to run a menial errand for you? Oh, nice, actually. I probably got screwed. Oh. You just gained court approval, which I, I, I totally forgot. Again, so I went in there thinking I, I, I told <laughs> I gotta think about the meta. I was like, no, he's like, screw this. Like, he's not gonna be play. He's not gonna get pulled into some game. So, and then it turns out <laughs> the response was actually like him saying, "What kind of game is this?" I'm like, oh no, that actually, that's exactly. He doesn't want to play any games. But I think meta wise, I think I need to actually play. The game. I need to do something with this gamey shit. You just. Gain court approval, which is usually the result of finesse, entertaining people, or keeping up appearances. Oh, okay. Finesse, entertain, entertaining, or keeping up appearances. The higher court approval, it. Okay, well, I mean, because I... I assure you, the ring truly is lost. And I must find it or risk terrible repercussions. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know. Because that sounds like you're... Sh you're fucking you're like you're playing with me like you're playing she's not it it sounds fake like a fake need she's trying to make a tool out of me and that's like the it's like just part of like getting a one the one upsmanship oh well that was stupidly easy okay there you go dummy what am i going to do if i cannot find my ring I guess is this is the ring you were looking oh, for. Oh, it's proved. Okay, I was like, "You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it." I think you, you played me. I think you put me it a over lifetime there. of mortification. You're just trying it. How can I thank you enough? He's got me another five. Like you just, you want to feel like you're in control. That's all it is. You just manipulate people, and it's constantly, constant manipulation of people. Is that just to. Emma, the maker has an odd sense of. Uh, the maker gave me, well, Indra, well, the maker gave me <laughs> power to serve man, not rule over him. Uh, Andraste was the messenger of that message, of that decree. So, uh, go fuck yourselves. Read plaque. The Varche Fountain. Emperor Judasil the first commissioned this massive fountain to commemorate House of Almont's historic victory against Xavier Dracon. The four lines represent Emperor Alphonse Valmont and his three younger brothers, Duke Esodore de Arlassan, Duke Yvonne of Savrain, and Duke Stéphane of Valmontaigne, who took the field against the super usurper. Okay, let me see what that was. Oh, it's a whole four lion thing. Is, is my puppy still good? You're still breathing, buddy. He does look like he's still breathing. 
I can't believe I just say so. Oh, Jesus. I do get scared sometimes. Why are there so many elves here? The Empress invited them. Be polite. Oof. Okay. Oh, it's not so much a timer. It, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it, it literally is just things going down, I guess. I can't screw up. Statues required. Okay. Am I going to get screwed by sneaking in? Oh. 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 Okay. Did that screw me? No. So I guess I. Okay. Yes. Right here. Require storage key. Oh god, it's all like. Alright, access to east and storage room. Okay, so there's a couple of things we have to do. Uh, back to backers. Oh. There we go. Okay, there's the Hala statue for downstairs. Let's do a quick. Yes! And then we have this right here. Loot. I'm going to take all your shit. Look at me. Oh, okay. Some cow thing. I did take damage. Don't do that again. Access. Smash. Okay, let's do this one. Oh. Now what? Wait. Yep. Okay. Good. Loot. Okay. So far, so railroady. <laughs> so it's fine. What the hell? Why is it still lit up still? No. Okie dokie. So. Hmm. That was for loot. All right. Well, let's try. Inquisitor, a uh, moment, if you please. Hello. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated. Don't make me nervous, Josephine. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace playing I don't like it. death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. <laughs> he wouldn't be happy about this, I don't think. But more the others. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Cassandra is usually not the subtle or cautious type. I'll have a few discreet words. I did bring. Oh. Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. And the rest so, I over us all. <laughs> so I shouldn't have brought Cassandra. Oh, she is sort of irrational, but I just figured that she'd have like, I don't know, her, her just her rank, her rank or not a rank, her her role is. Gulp. Oh, okay. Interesting. Looks like we're doing a, a what? This is all a. Yup. The map is the entire ball area, huh? Okay. Should I be sneaking around here? We good? Does this do anything? No? Nope. So I'm not here with my team? Why'd you make me pick team members if it doesn't matter? Hmm. I wish there was more news there. coming from the con. What the hell? Good news is becoming an oh, increasingly no, rare commodity. I'm <laughs> getting so confused. Varric, dude. Dude. Shit. I 
just saw two dwarves from the Merchant's Guild go inside. If anyone asks, I'm not here. <laughs> Farrick, I brought you because you should have been the safe one, man. Hey, Colin, what's up? I need to have this jacket let out a little. Colin is here? Cassandra. The sooner we go in, the sooner we can get this over with. Oh. What? What is Gaspar up to? It wouldn't surprise me if he brought the Inquisitor here as a prank. Woof. Gaspar never struck me as pious. He must think he gains a military advantage with the Inquisition. We'll see, How could yeah. the Empress afford to renovate the palace without what was going on? I heard that it wasn't renovations at all. The palace was damaged by Gaspar's catapults. He fired on the Winter Palace? That's monstrous. Probably. Okay. Um What are we looking at here? Oh. Uh How long can Orzokar hold out with trade disrupted? We have reserves of food supplies to last a few months. Yeah, but the king like wants trade resumed before man. panic starts. Yeah, at least come dressed. Oh, what's interesting? Read Black. Winter Palace, the Grand Library of Hamshral. The Winter Palace's collection of books is one of the world's largest. One of the libraries of University of Orlais. Only the Library of the University of Orlais and the Imperial Palace Library compare. Famed cabinet maker Gustave of Valfontaine designed and built the shelves. The finest example of his marquetry technique still in existence. Architecture. <laughs> Lock from the other side. Settles that. It's on this side. Is there any progress on the Helmy expedition to Amgarak? Oh. Our base remains steadfast in blocking all attempts to get into the Taig. Amgarak? Amgarak? We're gonna go back there. How about you? You lock from the other side. Yo. Oh no! Now you need a rope. Oh, my God. Royal wing key. Okay. The. Oh. It's like Mass Effect. Or. Waste of time. Assassin's Creed. Wait. What do you mean waste of time? Do I not? Do you need something? Can Gaspar take the throne without the backing of the Council of Heralds? He plans to take it by force. If the Council won't recognize him, he'll march against them. I mean, I can ease out drop on everyone else without, without actively... What am I doing? Waste of time. What? Do I have to um, turn my camera certain? What am I doing? The guest wing is not open to the public at this time. Okay, sorry, my bad. Can't do that. Okay, I guess we're going in. Oh, oh, guess what? Interesting. Hmm. What would Sama do? I mean. My gut right now is Celine. I'm, I'm informed by Meta, so I'm I'm gonna see how the story presents the information, and then I'll have to know. I'll, I'll, I'll some will decide, but and now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him. Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Ostwick Circle of Magi. Oh, nice. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. Let me just smile. This is all for show, my dear. Champion of the blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Oh, priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, yeah. 
Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlais, right hand of the divine. Madame Vivienne, first enchanter of the Circle of Magi, I... enchanter of the Imperial Court, mistress of the Duke of Ghislaine, renowned author, Varric Dethrys. Oh, there's there. Head of noble house Tethrys, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild, Sir Cullen Stanton Rutherford of Homley, Commander of the Forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, Veteran of the Fifth Blight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and Left Hand of the Divine. Yeah, man. And Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. That's cool. Oh, oh do I stop here? Sorry. Yeah, right here. Uh, like this, Sally. Josephine. Quickly, Josephine. Yeah, Josephine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what? Want me to keep? Well, okay, I'll keep. I'll, I'll come. I'll come towards you. One step at a time, Salmi. Don't be a jackass. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor. Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Oh, wow. No, no, I'll be legit. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. Try, I'll try. We have I'll heard try. much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I haven't really seen it, though. Oh, you just talked. What? I'm just, just. I've never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time he probably has to take it, though. in some That's of its sure. beauty. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look I'm, forward I'm, no, it's cool. to I'm watching just you dance. I'm going to walk around and break into your shit. Don't mind me. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Tell me, Yvette, uh, how are my mind back on? Are they in good health? Oh my god. Can you believe the Inquisition filled its ranks with upper states? You just know this is gonna be the whole board. Badly. This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Look at this though, damn son. Wait, is that a broken Lord column? Or what Ducey, the... Hello? Baron of Jada, accompanying the Baron, Lady Arlette and their son, Lord Edmund. Student of the composer Emmeline of Montsimar. Oh, oh. Montsimar. This guy's gonna keep introducing folks. Just looking around, just looking around. Oh, I see they were. That's intent intended. Oh, hey, Ra Raven. Oh, hello, dudes. What's up? Prince Ezio Valisti of the House of Valisti in Antiva, oh, hey, and man. third talon of the Antivan Crows. Oh. Wait, what? What were they Cullen. doing in the western approach? Can I get you a drink, western? Commander Cullen? No, thank you. I had hoped to tour the Royal Wing Gardens again. Oh I my gosh, they are the the in the Empire. Such a pity. Laurent was the oh, love of my what? life. 
What does that mean? Remember my sure. Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Okay. Oh, I'm at 50 already. Oh, hey, Vivian. Sir Honorine Chastain, Chevalier of the Empire, Champion wait, wait, of the Grand Tour of Tantavale, Bearer <laughs> of the Viridium Signet of Bravery and the Golden Star of Orlé, and Patroness of the Great Artisan Val de Serre of Antiva City. Okay. Vivian. And here we are. You haven't embarrassed yourself as much as I feared. I've tried. Well done, my dear. I've tried, okay? Any words of wisdom for navigating the ballroom? Speak to the Council of Heralds. Six of them are here tonight. The seventh member of the Council is indisposed. His absence will complicate the negotiations. The Council are the highest ranking players of the game. They see everything. They might know something we can use. Council. I've always wondered, what's the Orlesian fascination with masks? We all wear masks, my dear, not just the people in Orlais. That's right. Who you are as a son, a lover, a friend, is not the same man who speaks for Andraste and leads the Inquisition. Orlesians codify well, this truth, all I make it visible. Yet. By giving each of these selves its own separate face, they believe they can be their truest selves, unmasked. Anything happening I should know? Strange that I haven't seen much of Grand Duchess Florian. One could always find her clinging desperately to the Empress's skirts before. Uh huh. It seems she like looks you sketch. enjoy this, Vivian. This is the game, Inquisitor. Of course I enjoy it. If I didn't, I'd be dead by now. Tell me, Vivienne, where do you want the crown to fall? What I want is irrelevant, darling. Orlais requires stability, and that is best served by Empress Selene. Yeah. Be ready to act when I give the signal. Always, my dear. I like your commitment. What are we doing? Oh, the door? Okay. Well, um... I got people to talk to, and I also have to end this episode. What is this? After I read this thing. A compendium of Orlesian theater. The most unusual part of Orlesian theater, appropriately enough, revolves around our southern neighbor's love of masks. Every actor wears a mask, and every mask follows a hierarchy of shape and colors that indicates to the audience the character's importance. Half-face green mask indicates a leading male role, for example, while half-face purple masks are for primary female characters. Full white masks are reserved for roles of no clear gender such as spirits except for demons, whose masks are always, well, must always be black and red. Further complicating matters for those new to Orlesian theater, an actor's race or sex has no bearing on the parts they can play. If a director believes that they can sell the part, men can play dowagers, women can play dukes, and even an elf can play a king. Once donned, the mask is understood to be absolutely them. None of the actors I spoke to could explain to me the history behind this tradition, but bristled when I suggested other nations find it strange. There is a strong bond of trust between Orlesian theater troops and their viewers. Indeed, I have rarely attended such attentive audiences than in Val Royo. It is my guess that Orlesians surrounded as they are by mass in their daily lives both require and fully respect the place where the objects boldly display their wares' and intentions for a change. An appendix at the back of this volume lists the appearance and meanings of Orlesians theater masks. These conventions are vital to understanding the history of its finest theater, a journey I hope you will find a reward, as rewarding as I have. From a Companion of Orlesian Theater, Volume 1, introduction by Magister Pelinar. Blech. Blech. I heard Celine was having the entire wing redecorated, but the timing is atrocious. Why would she do such a thing now? Is that him? Is it true the Inquisitor was headed out of the Fade by Andresti? Yes. Okay, I don't know which doors I've gone into, but now I feel like Are I do have to, to talk to door, everyone. Josie? Before Josephine. I Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this him? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister. No. Oh. Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Of course. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. 
Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antifa says so. Ugh. Is it true? <laughs> of course, every word. Especially the parts where everyone was nude. I knew it. Oh wait, I should be thinking about the point thing, shouldn't I? Oh my god, no. Oh no, wait. Oh, stop, wait, stop. <laughs> oh shit. This may be my only Hope chance not. to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh yes, as she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette, stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette! Uh -oh. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting Josie. my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished the painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. <laughs> and oh. I must wait for your tutor's bits. I knew so many people like this. <laughs> Why does this keep coming up? Stop. Enjoying the ball? I see many of The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Oh. Go on, Josephine. Half our royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention. But they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. Oh. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Uh huh. Which power should the Inquisition well, throw repeat its again? behind? Selena. There's a uh, military uh, campaigns, never blah blah blah. Thanks for the repeat, Bioware. Let's move on. Stop. I'll see you later. Okay, let's go to a missing one. Well, a missing one. Where did it go? There's Colin. Inquisitor. Did you need Not something? The sooner the we track team. down this infiltrator, the better. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Not yet. It would be easier if people would stop talking to me. Other people. Not you. <laughs> you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. Ah, oh, goddammit, Colin. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. I want... Hmm... I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is oh, synchronized. To company. How cute. We'll talk later. <laughs> Wait, you'll see. That's all I can see. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, I, I can't. I can't talk Another to you. Another time, perhaps? Yeah. Alright, so I think that's it for now. I, I might... Oh no, am I seeing other... I could probably... Vestibule. Okay, hold on. Can I go down? Oh, I can't. I can't go down, right? No. Nope. No, that's where I came from. So I'm going to the vestibule. I have an idea, Josephine. You should invite all the family to Skyhold for the summer. Sure. You'd be bored the second you step past the gates. Skyhold is a fortified castle. Holiday resort. Don't you miss us? Of course I do, Yvette. There is just so much work undone. You always put these tasks ahead of us. Well, I'll see if I can come home for your gallery showing. How does that sound? <sighs> oh, that would be she so needs nice. to finish the paintings first, you just promise? Yes, I promise. Oh, wonderful. Are all the 
Okay, I'm. Oh. Okay, so I'm going in circles here. I think it's the one door I gotta go through. So that's a good clean break for the episode. I am. I'm definitely doing circles here because I thought I brought Farrick with me. And why? Why is he not at the top with the rest of them? Because uh, did I miss an area or something? Oh, and Cassandra. Where's Cassandra? Oh. Oh, she's in here. Oh, oh my god. Okay, there's still... Okay. Yep, okay, we're going to be here a while. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here, and I will catch... Here, I'm just going to hang out with this dude right here. And I will catch you in the next episode. We're going through the vestibule. We're going to find Cassandra, some other people, find out what the hell's going on here. i got to work up this approval, I suppose, or not lose it at the very least. I don't know what I'm actually trying trying to get to here except that there's going to be a choice i can see it's going to be between uh who's going to rule and i predict that the brianna is going to come into it and mess everything up and i don't probably make some demands or something so i'm gonna to have to make a decision between all that stuff and it's gonna be interesting i'll catch you in the next episode don't forget to explore engage and inspire buddy peace